What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. And remember, if you're not having an amazing day, there is no such thing as a bad day, only a bad mindset about said day. So we are here in my kitchen and we're gonna be making some cheeseburgers today, guys. Now you're probably like, cheeseburgers, what? How is that a diet food? But I'm telling you guys, with the right ingredients, we can take the traditional cheeseburger, which is typically loaded with fat, loaded with carbs, and make it healthy and make it fit our goals. Go to any restaurant, order a cheeseburger. It's not really gonna be helpful or beneficial to your diet. Go to McDonald's, go to Wendy's, you're not not even sure if that's real meat, but I'm telling you guys, this will be a real 100% authentic cheeseburger that's going to taste amazing and still help you on your diet. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then and as always, you know I'm ready to get it done for you. Let's do it! I'm gonna go ahead and go over all the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe, and I'll also put them in the description box below, that way you can copy and paste them if you decide to make this yourself. Starting off, our main protein source is gonna be 96.4 lean ground beef. Your traditional cheeseburgers are made using 80-20 lean ground beef, which is where the majority of the fat content comes. In this, there's only 4.5 grams of fat per serving. We're gonna be using two servings, 224 grams or eight ounces of this for our burger, guys. I'm telling you, if you're making burgers at home, this is the most crucial step. And then moving over to our sandwich buns, I decided to go with these sandwich slims, 100% whole wheat, because in these, there's only 19 grams of carbs for your bun. Some of the other buns I looked at had upwards of 40 plus grams of carbs. So this is gonna have like five grams of fiber, really low in carbs, really gonna help us stick to our goals. We're gonna add a little bit of bacon to it. We're not doing traditional bacon, we're doing turkey bacon. So once again, lower in fat, we're keeping those macros in check, but still adding nice good flavor. We have ourselves some fat-free cheese here. This is an optional ingredient. I'm gonna mix this in with my ground beef. So while it cooks, there's a little bit of cheese inside, but once again, keeping fat low, keeping Keeping our protein high. We have one slice of fat-free American cheese here we're gonna put on as well to make it a cheeseburger. <laughs> Imagine that. We're also gonna be using some fresh jalapenos, which once again is another optional ingredient. I'm gonna put this in with my ground beef while it cooks to add a bunch of good, nice flavor. And then the final thing we're gonna mix in with our ground beef as well is just some simple garlic stirring paste, adding a ton of flavor here without adding any macros or calories. So let's go ahead and get this epic recipe video underway. I went ahead and weighed out the 224 grams or eight ounces of lean ground beef that we're gonna be using and I sat it off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and take my jalapeno here and get it chopped up. That way I can mix it together while we patty this. And then what I like to do once this is all cut up like this, I like to go in and get it even finer here. I like a bunch of tiny little chunks in my burger as opposed to just a few big ones. And if you don't like peppers, like I said, this is completely optional. You do not have to do this, but I think it just helps with that flavor personally. And I love peppers, but you could use green bell peppers if you're sensitive to spicy foods or you don't like things spicy. Or heck, get crazy, throw some onions in here with it. Heck, broccoli if you're a trooper. Do whatever you want, guys. The world is yours. <laughs> okay, we have all of our jalapenos chopped up. If you want to, you can go ahead and like pick through the seeds and stuff. That does not bother me at all though. We're gonna leave it in. And then another thing we're gonna be adding, I have my cheese here that I've already weighed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put it right in here, add it to our little mix. And then another thing I like to do is take some zesty blend garlic and herb, salt-free, zero calorie seasonings. Throw a little bit on here as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead for today, I'm gonna use some onion salt to add some nice flavor. Not too much of it though, just a little boom. There we go. And then finally, I like like to take garlic paste here and add in some as well. There we go. Now I'm gonna go through and just mix all of these together. You wanna make sure you get all this stuff mixed as thoroughly as you possibly can because in my opinion, the best burgers you have are the ones where all the flavors are dispersed evenly throughout the entire thing. And keep in mind, you could have foregone everything I just did and just went with the plain ground beef, but where's the fun in that, right? We're creative around here, guys. We are creative. It's about making these healthy foods taste just as good as their not so healthy counterparts. And sometimes you gotta let it get a little creative in order to accomplish that goal. Don't want to lose any of this. Let's stuff it all in there. Guys, this is gonna be an epic burger. Look at this thing. All right, now that we have everything all balled up and mixed up, this is gonna cook best if you flatten it as much as you can and kind of spread it out because these thick burgers do not like to cook all the way through. Then you run the risk of having the outside of it cook faster than the middle. Typically, I like to go in here and get it nice and flat. Stuff you back down in there. You're not getting away from us. And there we go, guys. She is ready to be cooked. And then go ahead, set your pan to a medium heat. I already did that in advance. That way you guys don't gotta wait around on it, huh? You see how considerate I am? Then I go in, I hit this with some cooking spray. We don't want this to be sticking to the pan at all. Place our burger right here in the skillet. I don't know if this, okay, you know what? We're just gonna use our hands here because this thing's delicate. It hasn't been cooked yet. So let's get you and boom. And then what we wanna do at this point, we're gonna give this about five minutes on each side. And then 
then we're gonna flip it. And at that point, we check the middle, make sure there's no pink in the middle. That way we know she's all the way cooked and then we are good to go. So I'm gonna check back in with you guys when this is a little bit closer to done. That way you don't have to listen to that awful sizzling sound in the microphone, huh? <laughs> See you guys, I'm so considerate. I am just so considerate. Boom, we did a little check in the middle to make sure she was cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and take her off the heat. Now we take our burger, we place it right on here. I'm gonna add my cheese, but we're not done yet, guys. We still gotta cook the bacon. The bacon's actually really easy because it's already cooked. So we just gotta crisp it a little bit and heat it up. So a little more cooking spray, bingo. Take our two strips and boom, and boom. Bacon is done. Go ahead and put it on top as well. Oh my gosh, guys. I am literally like a kid on Christmas right now. I just, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna love it. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's see what this thing's all about. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. I am so ready for this, guys. Oh yeah, I love myself a cheeseburger, I love myself some bacon, I love myself some jalapenos, I love myself some carbs in the form of bread. How could we go wrong here? And you might be wondering, Remington, why do you always stand up for these taste tests? Because I'm so excited, guys, I can't sit down. Literally, so excited I can't sit down. Let's go ahead and mm, give this bad boy a taste, shall we? <laughs> Three, two, one. Mm. That's your burger, all right. Wow, <laughs> this is good. Oh, 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 mm. Those jalapenos and that cheese in there add such a nice flavor. Ooh, um, it's just really good, really. I mean, I'm feeling very low. Oh, falling apart on me. You're not going anywhere, fella. <laughs> this little pinky went to the market. This little. Ow. <laughs> Ahem. Ahem. Ooh. Ah, uh, we just slammed that burger. Wow, that was amazing. You know what, as soon as this video is over, guys, I think I wanna make another one, because I literally have half a pound of beef in there still. I think we're gonna make another one. Definitely gets the, this doesn't work when you have a phone in your hand. Double seal of approval. Super good, guys, amazing. Mm. Now, let me go over the macros with you guys, and you guys will probably be like, oh wow, I'm making that right now. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're gonna do that. So what we have here, in the entire recipe, we have a whopping 523 calories. And now, the macros is where this is gonna get you. In the entire thing, there's only 15 grams of fat, which in the grand scheme of things, isn't much for a cheeseburger. Seriously, it's not much. In the entire thing, there's 24 grams of carbs, but we get a whopping six grams of fiber. So about 18 grams of net carbs here. And then the kicker, we get a total of 70 grams of protein in this bad boy, so oof. A little indigestion there. <laughs> so that was doing your cheeseburger in sub 60 seconds. Uh, but 70 grams of protein in this entire thing. So amazing recipe here, guys. I'm telling you, macro friendly cheeseburgers for the win. Mm. Guys, I am, uh, I gotta go. I gotta make another cheeseburger, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really, I tried to find recipes for you guys that are flexible, let you live the lifestyle, but still hit your goals and, you know, enjoy the foods that you like. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button for me. <laughs> and if you have any ideas for recipes you wanna see, make sure you comment below because I am always on the lookout for new video ideas. Be on the lookout in a couple days, a huge announcement happened in my life. I signed some paperwork and we have one of the greatest achievements of my 26 years on this earth that uh, I was able to accomplish. And I'm gonna talk about that in the next vlog. So then look out for that as well, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for your continuous support. If I was too goofy in this video, I'm sorry. It's high carb day and I'm in a really good mood. Like I said, all this big stuff's happening. So uh, hey, don't hate on me too hard, guys. Thank you guys so much. And, 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 don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you can be making better. With that, I'm out here. This has been a Remington James production and I will see you guys. I get all fancy with these arm movements. See you guys <laughs> at the next video. See you guys.